fictional tales. Lots of people want to make a documentary about their life and their story. Another one of those people is Richard Etienne. He hasn't been to Dominica yet. He's 29 years old and he's determined to go for a whole variety of reasons. And Richard is with us in the studio. Good morning to you. Good morning, Henry. Right, let's get this straight. Now, I said before, Dominica, <laughs> and I should have said Dominica, shouldn't I? That's correct, yeah. Please explain the difference because there is a distinction with a difference. Exactly. So when uh, people say uh, Dominican, that refers to the Dominican Republic, right. which shares uh, the island with, its island with Haiti. Yes, indeed. Um, but Dominica is the island in between Martinique so and So to sing Nica. That's right. And I mean. one is Spanish-speaking and the other one isn't. That's right. So Dominica is Spanish-speaking because it's part of the island of Hispaniola. Aha, you see? And then Dominica is Anglo. Now, because of course of colonialism by the British. Right. Now, in the case of Ade, it was very, very clear why he wanted to go. And thanks to his star turn at the Paralympics, suddenly people were interested in him. In your case, why do you want to go to Dominica and film your first journey there? Well, yeah, exactly. It's my first journey there. Um, I, I lost my father back in 2004 to uh, a you know, rare blood disease. Yeah. And um, he was my best friend and he supported everything that I did, you know, especially, especially creatively. Yeah. So um, this is the reason why I decided that I wanted to, to make this film. Um, you know, my, my talent is in filmmaking and, and what's the best way to honour, you know, my, my best friend, my father, than to go out to his place of birth and film. Straight away, I love the fact that you honour your father in this way because a lot of people, especially men, don't in our communities. It's, 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 it's a fact. But what do you want to show? What do you think? Because you've not been there. You don't quite know how it is there. So I want to actually showcase Dominica and her children. So, it, it, you know, in terms of the people, it's about the politicians, the sports people, you know, um, our creative. We've got so, we've got such a rich, rich, um, you know, a showcase of artists out there, visual and um, also audio. We've got, you know, the, the lovely Miss Dominica, you know, she's also going to be featured. I wonder when this might come in, go on. <laughs> um, I want to make this film beautiful. <laughs> right. And, um, you know, also Dominica itself, you know, it's, it's a country with 365 rivers. It's, you know, mountainous. It's, it's got, you know, a volcanic. It's meant to be know, very water. green, yeah, isn't it? Exactly. It's like the rainforest. It's the nature island of the Caribbean. That's yeah. what it's known for. And that's what I want to showcase to the world, basically putting it on the map. And what are you going to do? How long is the documentary going to be and what are you going to do with it? Is it going to be a cinema release, TV, internet? What are you going to do? It's going to be a web-only release. It's 45 minutes. Um, and also it's going to be in English and it's going to be Creole uh, subtitles for the people that I meet that, you know, I want them to actually, you know, showcase the language. Um, because, you know, Creole is a language, or patois, as um, my family call it, is, is a language that I fear and many other fear, many others also fear that will die out in the next generation because, you know, a lot of um, the first gen, you know, di um, diasporas around the world do not teach uh, Creole or patois to their children. So um, I, I think it's also important to, to showcase that in the film. In the case of Spike Lee, he managed to raise... 1.25 million dollars around 1.3 million dollars that he needed to fund his new movie and that was via kickstarter but that's spike lee he's been in the business for the best part of 30 years he's got a hinterland he's got a community that loves him and what he does why are people going to invest in richard etienne because hopefully this is a story that you know relates not just to myself but on a, on a wide wide uh, uh, spectrum um, you know, I, I love my father and a lot of other people also love their parents and, and a lot of people, you know, first generation like myself have not been back to their, you know, their, their place of, of, of heritage or in origin and, you know, I want people and I, yeah, I would like people to, to, to invest simply because it's, it's, it should open doors to other people as well to also create a documentary or a film or just inspire them to just go back and, and, and meet the people that... How badly do you want to make this? Very badly, you know. This this is something that um, I, I, in February of this year, I went to meet the Dominican High Commissioner, Her, Her Excellency Miss Francine Baron, and um, when I explained, you know, my concept for the film to her, you know, she was so warm and welcoming and helpful. She literally opened her address book for me and, you know, in, introduced me to Invest Dominica, who then passed me on to the Prime Minister, etc. Now. When I left that meeting and I went back to my office and I, I was sending out the email to thank her for the meeting, I literally broke down in tears at my desk. Now, I have not cried like that since my dad passed almost 10 years ago. So I knew that at that very moment, this is something that I had to do. And 
I, you know, and this this feeling has just transcended. The moment I put the trailer up, I've had people that I have never heard of from. When you say trailer, you, on YouTube. On YouTube, yeah, forward slash my Dominica story, and um, I've had you know contact from U.S. Marines who served some time there. I've had contacts from you know honeymooners, from from potential family. It, it's 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 gone widespread. And, and have you tapped into the Dominican com- community here? Because actually, we do have some quite well-known entertainers and so on who have Dominican background. Indeed, yeah. Um, so you, just just yesterday, mm-hmm. I was um, with uh, the with Dona, which stands for the Dominica on Overseas Nationals Association, and they had a fun day out in Acton. And you know th- that was the first time I've actually been around Dominicans, you know, from from the UK who are not family. This this was this, but it felt like I was so you have a family. diaspora here, quite a diaspora. Indeed, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I was I found out just yesterday there's a there's a larger number of Dominicans in, in Paddington and, and parts of West London and East London. So that was really, really encouraging. And and when people saw me, they, they was like, oh my gosh, you're the guy from that trailer. So, you know, they they have all seen it, they've passed it on. And you know, I've got loads of great contacts. I'm gonna be with the, the Dominican float at Carnival on Monday, look out for me with I'm the guy with the camera. Yeah. And um so I've I've received a lot of help in kind, you know, it's it's been through contacts, through you know hotel support, through um, as I said, organisations like you got Invest- Liat as well, haven't you? Yeah, the yeah. East Caribbean airliner. Indeed, I've got Invest Dominica, you know, who've been you know more than helpful, you know, in, in organising interviews for when I touch down. Richard, how much money do you need to raise? Well, in order to to complete this, I need to raise up to now three thousand pounds, and that will be for mainland travel. That'll be for kit hire, and that'll be for film permits because because um, Dominica is such a protected island. There's a there's a high you know fee to pay to, to film in certain areas. I mean they filmed Pirates of the Caribbean two and three in Dominica, and that was you know amazing. Like the backdrop for that film is completely amazing. So if you really want to see Dominica, just put those two films on. Well, whoever p- produced uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, I mean that's clearly a shout. You know, send them a little email <laughs> because of course they've made millions and millions and millions out of uh, your country. They can help. Pay a little something back. How about a bit of CSR for Richard Etienne? What do you reckon, Angela? <laughs> well, I just think about the Dominican friends I have. They're all artists and actors. Indeed. Photographers. It's quite interesting when you mention the artistic side, because I think that is very strong um, in that community, definitely. OK, so how can um, the Colourful Listener help? What can they do? Well, if they would like to donate financially, if they could go to the official blog, which is mydominicastory.com. There's a donate button at the top of the page. No amount is too small. And for every single donation, I will give you a film related prize. And that can range from a calendar of images from uh, the film, um, a T-shirt from the, uh, the cricketer that I'm going to be interviewing out there. Um, yeah, just a wide range of, of gifts. And um, yeah, and also, you know, you, you'll be being parts of history. So opening the door, as I said, for, for others to do something very similar. What is somebody from Jamaica, from Barbados? Trinidad, Ghana, Nigeria, wherever, is sitting there listening to this saying, sounds like a nice chap, good for him, but I mean, I'm a Ghanaian, or I'm a Jamaican, I'm a Bayesian, I'm a Nigerian, it's not really, it doesn't really speak to me, um, so I'm not really sure I can give, I've got other things I want to give to. You need to really convince them why your story is their story. Well, simply because we, we all came from, you know, the motherland of Africa, and you know, if anything, we have all been, you know, dispersed in this wide diaspora and we've all, you know, part of us are longing to find out more about who we are as people. Um, you know, the BBC documentary, Who Do We Think You, you Are, is very popular. And, you know, that is more for, you know, the, the celebrity side of things. You know, why can't we, you know, invest in our own, our own selves? Why can't we you know, inspire our children to go back to where, you know, we came from, our parents came from, our great grandparents came from? And, and, yeah, just invest in yourself so you can pass on this knowledge to, to our children and, and just you know, keep our spirit, our, our culture alive. So the film is called ID, My Dominica Story, and it's going to follow Richard Etienne as he visits Dominica for the first time in memory of his father who passed away 10 years ago. A mix of genealogy, history, culture and the beauty of the island to showcase and celebrate it. Hmm. One more time, where do people go if they want to find out more? If they want to find out more, please go to mydominicastory.com. Um, and just before I go, I'd just like to you know, give a very big thanks to the team, uh, Kelly, Ben, Raphael, and also to Invest Dominica, Liat, and everyone else from, from Dona and other UK Dominican associations that have really helped um, you know, push this film. Excellent. Don't mention it. 
Thanks to Colourful as well. Thank you, Colourful. Yeah. No, obviously. because we believe in what you're doing. It is very, very important. It goes beyond you. Yeah. 857, Richard Etienne, good luck. 3,000 pounds. I'm sure you can do it. Thank you.